Okay, let's try to hunt some nickels again. Hopefully, this box is circulated. Getting a lot of uncirculated boxes. Let's see what we got here. Can I hunt through these? No. Let's check these dimes. Maybe I can hunt through some dimes. Oh no, new dimes again. Got a quarter box, just got box in. Let's cut into it and see that we have new quarters. Brand new Eleanor Roosevelt quarters. Okay, maybe we're gonna hunt some pennies. Let's see what we got in this box here. Are these new? And, well, it looks like I might have a half and half box, but I do have a Canadian Ender here. Very cool. 1993 Canadian Ender. Sweet. I do have some, and some of these circulated rolls. Let me see what I got. I might have a half and half box. Let's find out. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. All right. I am on roll number eight. Um, in this box, I have about 20 rolls. So... I'm um, almost halfway through the rolls in the box. I'm going to add 10 more rolls I have over here that I've been setting here um, to make this a 30 roll hunt. It's been going really slow, but I finally hit a wheat scent. And I know we have the one Canadian Ender coming up, but let's take a look at this wheat scent. Here we go. Uh, 1952S. Nice. An S minted wheat scent. Very cool. Working my way through roll number 11, it looks like I got a Canadian back here. I flattened the roll out and I found a shiny Canadian. Let's see what date it is. Oh wow, that was a nice shiny 1964. That is a young head. Very cool. It's a nice shiny red Canadian scent. Okay, uh, it's still on roll 11. I'm getting toward the end. It looks like I have a 1957 here. Let's take a look. Yep, that is a 19... Ooh, look at this. This has the die chip in between the B and the E called the B-I-E die chip. That's cool. That's a nice little bonus find here. Second wheat scent. 1957 B-I-E Weedy. Nice. All right, working my way through roll number 12, I come across a 1960 out of Denver, and it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like I have a repunch mint mark here on this 1960 out of Denver. That is a double D 1960. How about that? Very cool, that's an awesome find. Awesome. I made it to roll 14, and this is the Canadian Ender, 1993. Let's rip into this and see. I mean, let's just rip into this and pull the uh, Canadian out. And let's take a quick look, see if there's anything else standing out in here. All right. So, 90, 1993. Queen Elizabeth, Ender, nice, and a quick look, I don't see anything else standing out, alright, well I'm going to go through these, I got six more rolls left from this box, and then um, I'll grab those ten of the rolls, 
Be right back. Okay, about halfway through roll number 14 here. There's a 1956 out of Denver. It was obverse facing. I did not see the date until I got to it. Very cool. That's another wheat scent. Okay, I finished up the, the first 20 um, rolls from the first box, and I've got 10 more rolls here to add to the hunt. Um, had three wheat scents, three wheat scents, 1960 D over D, two Canadians, and um, let's see, six, seven, 2009s on the first box. So, not bad, not bad. It started off really slow. The first eight rolls were... Uh, there was nothing in them, and then started hitting some fines. Very cool. Let me get into these next 10, and we'll see what we got in these, and uh, we'll wrap it up at the end there. Roll number four, and I've got a Canadian here. Um, looks like we got a Canadian. Let's take a look at it. Oh, wow, it's 1944. That is an older one. King George the Sixth. Wow. Awesome. Nice. Roll number six. Come across another wheat scent. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. 1953 out of Denver. Very nice. Awesome. Roll number seven. And it looks like I've got a 1951 here. 1951 out of Denver. That is another wheat scent. Nice. Awesome. All right, roll number 10 of the second batch. So this is roll number 30, last roll I'm gonna be doing here in the hunt. I've just poured it out. I've got a wheat scent here, and I've got one that looks a little older. I'm gonna check the date on that one as well. Um, maybe I'll check that one as well. Well, let's start off with the wheat scent here. Let's see what we got. We have a 1945, nice. Nice, uh, set that here, and then this one's on the camera, so let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, 1954, that's another wheat scent. Very nice, very nice indeed. Now let's see, there was one back here. Uh, 1966. It is an older copper, but not a wheat scent. And I don't see any other wheat scents sticking out here. So let me go through the rest of this, see if I find anything else interesting. And if not, I will be back with the wrap up here in just a minute. Oh, still on the last roll here. And I've got another wheat scent here. I didn't even notice. It's so dirty. So it's going through. I uh, realized I had a dirty wheat scent here. Let's see, 1948S. Nice. It's another San Francisco minted. Wheat scent. All right, so to wrap up, two from the 40s, six from the 50s, including the BIE Deitche Pair, 1960 from Denver with a double uh, repunch mint mark, so two Ds there, um, three Canadians, a BU64, and the uh, 1944 George the Sixth. For the wheat scents, um, I'm only going to replace one of these pennies, the 1951 out of Denver. The one in there has uh, something on it and is just not the greatest. I'm more of just side gray, just getting a cleaner uh, one that doesn't have some gunk on it in there. Um, but that's all for the first book. None of the other wheat scents upgraded and we already had those in there. All right, book number two got two upgrades here 1961 um it's a little bit red brown but this one has some kind of looks like it got splashed with some dirty water and it dried on it so i think i'm gonna switch it out just so it's a cleaner example i wish this one was a little more redder but it is what it is and then over here i got a pretty nice 1962 out of denver that's going to replace this one in here that is all for book number two. Book number three had no coins to add or upgrade. Okay, so we had a lot of cool finds, but not much in the way of ads and upgrades for our books. Um, three coins I upgraded. 
Um, and one of those was kind of a side grade, just uh, putting in a um, non-junky example. <laughs> so that's where we're at. That's what we got here. Um, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out, and drop a comment down below. Um, pretty good hunt for having 30 rolls, and uh, it worked out pretty good. Had some really cool finds. All right, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.